and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 3. For today's video, I am going to be doing a holiday decor tour. I love doing these videos because there is so many amazing decorations that you can get for the holidays and I love to see where everybody else is getting all of their holiday de decorations from if they have something that I'm like Ooh, I'm gonna steal that idea from you or like ooh, I'm gonna run out to Target and snatch that up for myself So I figured for vlogmas this year now that Timmy and I have our own place I would do a holiday decor tour for you guys and that way you can snag up some of these super cute pieces if you like any of these So without further ado, let's dive into this video So obviously it is Timmy and I's first year living outside of our parents house So we are definitely still accumulating things. We definitely do not have everything that we want want in terms of holiday decoration at this point but for the most part we did do a really good job of this year of getting things that we felt were going to be good enough for the first year of us living away from home so the first thing that you guys saw as soon as I walked in the door at the start of this video was our wreath the wreath that we got is from Target. I absolutely love it. Target had so many really amazing, cute, and adorable wreaths, and I am going to try to, if I can remember, tell you guys every single place that summer is from, and that way you guys could go over and actually snag this up yourself if you wanted to. But the wreath is so cute. It's just like a basic wreath. That it has cute little like white berries in it, and it also does have those two bells, which I think is just so freaking cute. I absolutely love the wreath, and then as you walk into the door, your first thing that you're going to be able to see is our big Christmas tree, but you will. We'll get to that in a second. Over on our island where we have like our sink and m pretty much all of our counter space in our kitchen, you will see that pretty much the only thing we decorated that with is going to do that cute little Charlie Brown Christmas tree that I showed you guys in that vlog a few vlogs back. I am absolutely obsessed with this little Christmas tree. It has a little acorns in it. It's in that little sack. I just think it's so freaking adorable. I am obsessed. I did get that from at home and I absolutely love it. It literally was so so inexpensive and I just feel like for that area we needed to have something but I also didn't really want to over clutter that area with various decorations so I felt like it was the perfect little addition for that little area that brought in the like Christmas holiday vibes without making it like over the top Christmas throw up in your face so I absolutely love that and then on our right when you walk in the front door we do have those little like cubbies right underneath our shot glass collection holder where we keep various like mail and like very, we store some things we kind of have that little like cubby area where we do have like that table so on that table you will see we have a gnome and then that Santa countdown both of those things are literally just from giant Timmy picked them up one day when he was food shopping and then you're also going to see we have in that middle that like Lennox Christmas tree it is so adorable I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite things that people have in their homes for holiday decorations. I just think it's so cute. And again, it just like really ties together the whole kind of like little village atmosphere that we have kind of going on on this table. Because then to either side of it, you can see we have those little like scenes which we got from Lowe's so one is like more of a river mill scene so it's like two workers working on the little river mill I think they're so cute because they have a little story behind them but then they also like light up and they're super adorable and fun and then on the other side we have a campground scene which I really really enjoy because Timmy and I really do love camping it's a big part of something we do during the warmer months so when we found this one we like had to snag it up because we were absolutely obsessed with the fact that it was a cute little campground and then the fire is what glows in that like in that scene nothing else lights up it's just that campfire and I just thought that was so freaking cute and I absolutely love it and it really just like set the scene I definitely want to get a few other things to add onto that table and maybe our island table as well before this year we're most likely going to stick with just some of those basics because I felt like they were staples that I knew we would carry from year to year no matter where we were living and then as we kind of got into our Christmas tree so first and foremost our Christmas tree we also bought from Lowe's it is a fake tree I would love to have a real tree but it's just like not practical with like our cat wanting to climb into the tree and just with a mess and just for like keeping it alive and not sneezing because of being allergic to trees and all that a fake tree just made more sense so we bought the tree from Lowe's and then we did buy the tree skirt from at home it's like this beautiful white like fluffy tree skirt that our cat is literally obsessed with he literally won't stop lighting on it like whenever we can't find him we just assume he's on the tree skirt at this point because he is in love with just how fluffy it is and then our tree is relatively basic for this year we really don't have a lot of like personalized ornaments especially since it is the first year that we did have our 
our own Christmas tree. So for the most part with the tree, I tried to stick to a lot of like reds and golds and like a silvery color. I kind of kind of stuck to that being my big theme of the tree. So a lot of the ornaments you see are reds, golds, and silvers, which I really, really like. You do see some personalized ornaments. Like I show you guys in the video that we did get a couple ornaments from when we first got engaged. People were giving us ornaments, things like that. So some of those basic ornaments, but for the most part, and Timmy did add the addition of those candy canes today that you guys see on the tree, which I think adds a nice little touch. And it goes with the theme that I had already, so love that for us. But we definitely are going to be incorporating a lot more personalized ornaments in the future, but for now, this is kind of what we have to work with in the meantime. And then as we come over onto our TV stand, we really don't have a lot going on here either, but I really do like the little pieces and touches that we do have. We do have those two houses. Both of those are from Target. I am absolutely obsessed with these houses. Like literally, I would keep these houses up all year long. I think they are so freaking adorable. They are just from Target. I just think they're such a cute little addition. My only issue with these the houses as I do wish there was a little hole in the bottom of the houses to put a little tea light in I just think it would be adorable to have that little light going out of these houses but and I, I'm sure there are some options whether it's at Target or another place that do have those I just not the ones that we found so we are kind of sticking with just what Target had and they didn't have the hole for those tea lights but I do absolutely love these houses I think there's just such a cute little addition to our TV stands and then kind of like intertwined you see we have those little like snowman lights just a little something to incorporate lights when we do turn on lights in the evening it's nice to kind of have just like the tree on the snowman on and then maybe sometimes we have that like whole scene of the Lennox tree the two little like scenes the campfire the river mill like a whole little village going on and then last but certainly not least we do have our little area for our stockings so we really because we don't have a mantle didn't have a really really good place to put our stockings for this year we were kind of going back and forth with a bunch of different areas but we actually decided to just put them right above our couch area mostly just because we are going to do like stocking stuffers for each other and we wanted to for them to be easily accessible but we also wanted to be able to see them more frequently and not kind of like have them hidden so Timmy and my stocking are from this company called Personalized Creation I really love the way these stockings came out. I love that they have our names in the stockings. It's not just like a T or an M. It has our whole name like needle pointed into the stocking, which I think is absolutely adorable. And then eventually in the future, once we have kids, we'll be able to get stockings that do kind of match that general vibe and theme and can they can all kind of go together and then that cute little just red and white stocking is something that we were we did bring over from when Timmy lived at his parents house and we're going to use that stocking for our cat Jags and just fill it with a cute couple little things treats toys for him all of that good stuff so we do have all three of them kind of hung up but I really really like how because otherwise that entire wall would have been completely bare with no Christmas anything at all. So I like that that does kind of tie it all together. So there's like a little something in each of the areas of our main living area. So that kind of wraps up the decor tour at this point. Like I said, for the most part, it's our first year living outside of our parents' homes. So we're definitely still growing and developing our arsenal of decorations. But I really, really love everything we picked out so far. I Like I said, I definitely think that there are things that years and years in the future we're still going to be using and bringing with us no matter where we are living at that point so i felt like it was such a good thing to share with you guys because as we move and move into a next place hopefully by this time next year and i do vlogmas again what we're going to have is going to be totally different but you guys will recognize like these staple pieces kind of moving forward which i'm really excited about so if you like this video if you liked the holiday decor tour please make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up y'all already know it supports my channel if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss another video that I post. We are only three days in the vlog, but we got plenty of time left to go. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on my Instagram so you can see all the fitness, health, and lifestyle content that I post on there. And I will catch you guys here next time.